Okay, so um, I kind of started a video at home, but um, I got called for work, so I had to come and work, and it's now something like uh, 11 in the evening, and uh, I finished whatever the hell I was doing at work, so uh, <clears throat> I had to come and fix up some machines and stuff, so I thought since I'm uh, really into uh, getting uh, Moments 4 on YouTube I thought maybe I could do it while I drive home I'm not sure how this is gonna work out or if I'm gonna make um, a big part of the movie here but uh, well, I hope, hope it works out better not have an accident or I'm gonna fuck myself up and uh, hope I don't have to uh, break suddenly or my laptop will fall down so uh, here we go. Here comes the pain! Anyway, as I was telling you guys, uh, this MMO Moments 4 is about uh, Guild Wars versus World of Warcraft. And uh, on that subject, I have to organize my train of thought otherwise it's going to be really complicated to explain what I think about uh, WoW and uh, Guild Wars. So I kind of thought that maybe I would start by pointing out what are the bads and goods of Guild Wars and then I'll go with the bads and goods of World of Warcraft. So uh, here it goes. Guild Wars. Good points. PvP. I mean I literally never seen a game that's so cool with PvP because um, you can basically when you start the game you can go right ahead and start a PvP character which starts at maximum level but you cannot go PvPing with it I mean player versus mobs you cannot go and uh, raid with uh, that character that PvP character it becomes locked locked as in you cannot use it for anything other than PvP events however when you create it you get to be just about as strong as anyone else who plays the game like for three months five months doesn't matter as well as skills or gear is uh, concerned you're at an equal point with everyone else so this this is a, a really great thing for a game because I mean People like me, we don't have like all that time to put into an MMO where we can farm for days. No, we, we can't do that because I work like uh, eight hours a day and I have two extra hours where I have to drive home and come back and everything else. So I mean, Guild Wars is like almost the perfect game for me. However, the problem is uh, I as a gamer, I don't want to do just PvP, you know, I mean, I like PvP, I love PvP, but I also like raiding and I like uh, teamwork. I mean, I want to be in a group of people that will like get together to take down a big dragon, as you can see in, uh, in my video, M Moments 1, where Eris, my WoW guild, tried to take down uh, Emerus, the world dragon. We failed at the first time, but come on, it was the first time that everyone was like there working with uh, as a team. So uh, at the second time, they succeeded, and uh, I think it was pretty awesome. I was like level 43 or something. I wasn't like really participating actively in the raid, but I was shooting and everyone was having fun. So, I mean, that's what I miss in Guild Wars. You don't have like the need to get a group of people to go kill a mob there is no need you just go out of town I mean before you go out you get out of town you just hire these uh, mercenaries you have and uh, you just grab them you can uh, take uh, seven mercenaries with you and uh, they pretty much do the job I mean they're not all that smart sometimes they make really stupid crap but uh, mostly they get the job done and if you know how to use them uh, it's pretty easy to solo just about anything in uh, Guild Wars Except maybe the really high-end part of the game, where um, you kind of need a team to work on that. Also, ArenaNet, uh, when they developed uh, Guild Wars, they just had uh, mercenaries on the first expansion and on the second expansion as well. Just mercenaries. So the mercenaries weren't all that smart and they couldn't be upgraded. 
they would be like just around the same level you are in that particular part of the game and you could just pick them up and they would work as a pickup group. However, on the last expansion I played, Nightfall, they, um, they decided to put in a new type of mercenary, the hero. So how does the hero work? The hero is a mercenary which can uh, escalate with better gear. So you can equip him just like if he was a real character. Now, I really like this kind of stuff in single player games because, I mean, you can uh, basically customize your uh, mercenary and he gets all unique and stuff, but, I mean, this is a really great feature for a single player game. A multiplayer game needs people to be, um, how should I say this, they should be motivated to actually interact with other people as opposed to uh, being given the choice to just solo everything. I mean, I think it's rubbish. That's what I like about WoW. You really need other people to make like uh, certain instances, certain raids, certain bosses. There are all kinds of stuff you can make in WoW that you need a real team. So this is my point, why I am at the moment playing WoW. Because in Guild Wars, I really missed the raiding. There was no raiding. I was just PvPing like almost all the time. Not that I didn't have fun. I really liked PvPing. I hanged out with this guy who was uh, Lord Yemian. He was my guild leader. And he was a really, really good player. I mean, this guy knew just about every single class's role, what they needed to do, what they should be doing where they should be standing this guy is a genius and if you play guild wars i seriously advise you to at least have a word with him his name is uh lord Yemian. i'm sorry guys i know you guys can't really see me but i can't be driving with this light up because i can't see crap with it so uh i don't know i hope my other videos get better but for this video you're gonna have to take me like this i'm sorry Anyhow, back on topic. So, what have I said? Guild Wars strong points, PvP. Guild Wars weak points, raiding and PvE. Now, on to WoW. Why do I think that Guild Wars PvP is better than WoW's PvP? Well, that's pretty simple. I mean, you can get a kid who's like 14 years old or 15 or whatever. And this kid could have like no potential obligations, he just has to go to school and uh, other than that he can do pretty much well whatever the hell he wants. So this kid can be home playing WoW like an amazing 10 hours a day or more if he's on vacation. Now while I'm playing like 3 to 4 hours a day because of my time limitations and for instance today I didn't play at all because I got home, I had dinner. And I got called for work. So, I'm not playing and that 15 year old is like gathering epics, is like leveling like crazy. And then if I go to PvP, I'm gonna get home. I mean, I could basically have all the experience in the world. If I don't have the gear to back it up, it's all crap, you know? I mean, that 15 year old is gonna steamroll me like I'm nothing. That's what's wrong with WoW PvP. It's not as bad as other MMOs I've played before, but still I think it's, it kind of lacks that skill element, that human skill, because you know, sometimes the gear just takes it away from you. And then there's also the balance issue, I mean, this game is, the World of Warcraft is definitely not balanced at the moment. 